All right, guys, another episode here on the K-Swap. Just got some stuff laying around. We're gonna start cleaning a lot of the stuff back here. You know, we had an, a little bit of an oil leak from the L15, which is quite common, even though I've been told by Honda, I'm a liar. Um, they don't wanna ever take, um, that's, they never wanna to admit to anything, to be honest, with any defect or whatever. I've had several service people and parts people argue with me about this, but talking up more about the, the leak on the head at one of the gaskets. But anyways, we powder coated our arms. This is our subframe. Steering rack goes right in between there. These come out to the front, pitch in here. We're gonna go ahead and clean everything up and then wrap this up all. Get up so we can kind of show you like, you know, the attention to detail that we're doing on this build on top of just putting a K20 swap in here. Um, I like to think ahead, get everything done right the right way, even though it's going to take a lot longer. So let's start putting this stuff back together and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, we've just got some of the stuff bolted up and I uh, want to show you how this looks. So, of course, the uh, OG Axion Green that you're all known uh, for with all our builds. And then you have your Rear mount down here, it's an 11th gen, 1.5. We actually just did the Type R, they're the exact same. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, not too bad. So um, to put the engine in, we've got to take these off just to have a little bit of extra room. Um, we're just gonna bring the engine in straight from the front. I've got to finish off the suspension, just dial all that in and get that on. We'll probably put the wheels and tires, set it on the ground, and then just kind of dolly in the motor and bolt it in place, I think. So yeah, that's kind of it for this uh, rendition of the episode. Just wanted to show you the attention to detail that we do when we do our builds. Um, a lot of this stuff is still gonna come back out of the car. We're gonna completely do the firewall. Uh, hoses are gonna be gone, it's gonna be cleaned up. No AC lines, total basics with the car. Um, so it really frees up the engine bay and looks cleaner. All right, guys. Till next time.